गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज विजय गुप्ता एंड यूर वॉचिंग बायोलॉजी क्लासेज सो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस क्लास ऑफ बायोलॉजी इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द स्कल इन माई लास्ट वीडियो एज आई स्टार्टेड अ न्यू चैप्टर न्यू टॉपिक दैट वॉज ह्यूमन स्केलेटल सिस्टम सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू वॉच दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो इट इज़ द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दैट इज द स्कल in my last video as i described that in our body there is a important system is present known as the skeletal system this skeletal system consists of total 206 bones today we will discuss about the skull or the head bone or you can say it forms our head so today i will tell you about the bones of the skull our skull is the main part of our skeletal system it is the base of our head our sense organs are situated on this particular skull so the skull consisting total 29 bones the skull consisting total 29 bones and these bones can be divided into two parts the facial bones and the cranial bones in the face there are 14 bones as i have mentioned in this diagram with different colors these are the facial bones and these are 14 in number and in this diagram i described about the cranial bones the bones which are present in the cranium cranium is the part of our skull this part of skull is known as cranium while this part of skull is known as the face so the bones which form the cranium are known as cranial bones so these are the cranial bones and these are eight in number so one by one i'll tell you about the different bones of face uh, face and the cranium so start with the facial bone in our face there are total 14 bones i will tell you one by one number one nasal bones two nasal bones are situated in this region so these are the nasal bones which form the base of our nose so these are two in number these are the nasal bone which are pink colored here i have made with pink color now the second bones are lacrimal bones near the eye orbits eye orbit these are the eye orbit in which our eye ball is embedded so these hollow cavity like structures are known as eye orbits so near the eye orbits two lacrimal glands are present in both the eyes so these are the lacrimal bones and these are two in number now next is inferior nasal concha these bones are situated here and very small tiny bones and known as the inferior nasal concha these are also two in number now the next is maxilla in our skull in our face the upper jaw is made up of maxilla there are two maxilla bones which form the upper jaw and our upper teeth are also embedded in both the bones which are maxilla so these are the maxilla and these are two in number now we'll talk about the next bone that is the mandible mandible which i have made with a sky blue color so this is the mandible it is the single bone so mandible is single or one in number and it is the only bone present in the skull which is movable all the remaining bones of our skull are immovable they cannot move but the mandible can move so this is the mandible and it is one in number another bone is palatine bone as you can see these very small bones are situated here known as palatine bones and these are two in number next is zygomatic bone the bones which form the cheeks so hence they are also known as the cheek bones so these cheek bones are known as zygomatic bones and these are two in number and finally there is a bone a small bone which is present in the center of the nose that is a single bone and known as vomer so vomer is the single bone so i have described all the facial bones uh, you need to learn the names of these bones there is no need of detail about all these bones uh, in your examination so i'll describe all the names here with their numbering so let us uh, repeat all these names nasal bones two situated here lacrimal bones two these are situated here next are inferior nasal concha also two in number and these are the nasal inferior nasal concha next is mandible mandible is a single jaw that is maxilla sorry maxilla before the mandible maxilla is present so maxilla are two in number these are two maxilla next is mandible is single this is the single mandible palatine two in number these are the palatine bones small bones these are the palatine bones next is zygomatic these are the zygomatic or the cheek bones these are also two in number and finally a single bone is vomer that is one so the total of the facial bone is 
I think all the bones, all the names are very clear to you. Now we'll talk about cranium, the cranial bones. As I told you before, there are total eight bones are present in the cranium. So what about the cranial bones? In our cranium, the front part is made up of a bone which is known as the frontal bone. As the name uh, describes itself, frontal means present in the front side. So it is the frontal bone and it is single in number. Another bones are parietal bone. These are two in numbers, this one and this one. Both the parietal bones are fused at the center of the head. So these are two. One is this side, one is another side. So these are the parietal bones which are two in number. Next one is temporal bone. Temporal bone, one is situated here, another one is here. So there are total two temporal bones are present in the cranium. So these are the temporal bones. Now the last one, sorry, not the last one. It is the occipital bone which is, which is situated in the back region of the skull. So this is the occipital bone and it is single in number. So all these bones, now two bones, uh, two other bones are also there. One is a sphenoid bone. It is situated here. This pink colored bone is a sphenoid bone and our pituitary gland is situated in the pit of the sphenoid bone. So it is an important point for you. And the last one is ethmoid bone. It is also a single bone. This bone uh, with this red colored bone is known as ethmoid bone. Okay. So I will repeat all the names and try to learn these names with their numbering. The first one is frontal bone. That is one in number. Second one is parietal bone. That is two. There are two in number. Third one is temporal bone, also two in numbers. This is the temporal bone. Next is occipital bone, that is one in number, that form the back part of the skull. Next is sphenoid bone, that is also one in number. And the last one is ethmoid bone, that is also one in number. So the total is total is to eight. So these are the eight cranial bones, and these are the fourteen facial bones. I think the names of all the skull bones, or the cranium and the facial bones, are very clear to you. Still, if you ask any type of question then you may ask in the comment section in this video it was all about the skull skull bones hope uh, you will learn all these names very easily so thanks for watching have a good day